ho, 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 ho. Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, and fellow Zenless Zone Zero enjoyers, welcome back! So, I was wrong once again. <laughs> I thought we would have been done with the Caesar drip marketing content, but we are not. And I was actually so quick, not with this video reaction, because I'm about almost two hours late, because it's almost 2 a.m., but... In terms of actually playing the game, I was actually quick. I have actually played Caesar. Her test run is out now. She's in the game. Her whole story is there, which I also somehow completed in one session. So I'm all caught up. And now I have a pretty good understanding of her. I've looked up guides in her kit. I know her very well, even though I haven't rolled for her. But we're not really here for the rolling, at least yet. We're here for her music video because we have an EP. I don't really know what EP means, but I know it's the song. So we're here to react to her song for me to say my final opinions on Caesar, because this is literally the last thing that they're going to release for her, at least now. And the last EP we got was for, I believe, Ching Yi, because Jane did not have one, right? Uh, well, Ching Yi was a music video, so I'm really curious what the EP is, because the Zhu Yuan thing was an EP, but I don't know if that was not really considered a music video or not. It's really weird. I would kind of consider it a music video, but who really knows? But either way, we haven't had an EP since uh, Zhu Yuan. We haven't had a music thing in general since Ching Yi. So hopefully we're going to be eating. Again, what do I expect to see from this? Hopefully not Chinese music. No, Nothing against China and everything, but I'm English. I understand things in English better. I can appreciate things in English fully. So hopefully English. Obviously, I'm looking out for feet. We're going to see if there's feet. And just to see if the song is pretty good. Now, if you've done the story, no spoilers, you'll know that the Sons of Calidon and Caesar are around a biker theme. They're kind of around punk rock metal, that type of music. And much like the theme itself, I don't really like punk rock music either. I don't hate it. I don't love it. So I'm not expecting too, too much here. And this isn't really going to sway my opinion, because as always, my criteria for the character is number one, are they meta? Are there, is their gameplay good? Which for Caesar, it's a resounding yes now that I've played with her and everything. Uh, for looks, it's a half and half, because like I said, I don't like the theme, but she is a voluptuous woman. And for the lore, which I can actually speak on now, I really like Caesar. You know, she's your classic, just good character. Obviously, she's just a bike leader. She's a little rough and tough. You know, she likes to rough house a little bit, but she has a heart of gold. You know, she's a very, very nice person, which I really like. I love nice people. And the fact that she's hot also helps. But either way, despite all of these things, the main factor that is really stopping me from rolling for Caesar at this point, sadly, is just the fact that we have so many other people coming out. So after this, we have Bernice, which I'm very, very interested in. I really like and want Bernice and hope to get her. Uh, you know, really weirdly, I like Anomaly, but Bernice is her own animal. But this isn't Bernice's video. This is Caesar's video. So sadly, she has to compete with Bernice. And then after Bernice, we have Yanagi finally coming out which ho mama another anomaly agent which is insane and then after that we have lighter which i literally know nothing about and then on the horizon hopefully is the queen miyabi and they are really hyping miyabi up like crazy so i really gotta start saving for her because i might get cleaned out by all the current characters but either way let's check out caesar's little music video here let's see if it's good let's see if it's punk rock themed and let's see if there's feet but i doubt it'll change my opinion on rolling for her but we'll see Let's take a look. Let's make sure this isn't too loud. Oh! It's also called Pin King. I don't know if that's a plan words for pink or king, but I'm a little confused by it. I think it's just Pin King. Oh! Oh my god, we almost see your feet. Almost. Oh my god, we see your feet! No way, this certainly. What is this? It's like old school anime, like 80s JP pop. She's a schoolgirl. That's not Bernice, is it? Oh, it's the guy she likes. This is gonna get shattered. There's no way. What? What? What is this? They even have the anime eyes. What? 
Oh my. Love is woo. I'm really shocked how this is not biker themed or anything. Are we gonna get a shift in the song at any point? There's no way. What? Oh my god, more feet! A little bong woo! What the fuck? <laughs> what is she working like a part time job? What is this? There's the loafers too. Oh god, she's nervy. Oh my god, the fucking starry eyes, man. Th this is crazy. Oh wait, no, is he gay? Is he going for a man? Is Caesar's dreams crushed? This actually reminds me of Nicole more than anything, the heart motif, because it's made of a diamond. Oh my god! What is this? <laughs> Back to the anime eyes, huh? Okay. Oh my god. Little bang boo. Oh, she's running after him! Is she gonna tell him? Imagine it's wise at the end of the day. Oh! Oh! Oh, she was reading manga! What? What? They were watching her. Oh my god. Okay. Wow. Okay. All right. I'm I'm shocked. Okay, I'm not fully shocked and I kind of realized it a little halfway in. But um I'm going to say a slight spoiler for the story. So be forewarned, right? If you don't want story spoilers for the new quest, uh you know version 1.2 the tour day inferno click off now even though it's a very little spoiler but you've been warned either way in the story we eventually learn that caesar likes romances right she sees something and we basically surmise that she despite her little you know rough and tough side she actually really likes i guess rom-coms and the crazy part is, like, I realized, I was like, oh, what if this is Caesar's daydream or whatever, right? And I'm actually shocked this relates to the lore, because the other thing from the last EP we saw with, um, uh, excuse me, with, uh, I was going to say Chingy, I guess Chingy is kind of similar, but Chingy's thing basically, I think, told her story in her mind, like, what she kind of feels like, what she kind of is thinking about. So it's not just some random ass video. It does have lore implications, right? Because Chingy, I guess, wants to feel like a princess, but she's kind of like trapped in the life she has because she's an automaton or she works for PubSec and working sucks. Who knows, right? But for this one, we obviously see this relates lore-wise to Caesar because she likes fucking romances, which is crazy. And I was here thinking we're going to get some like punk heavy metal rock song. I was completely wrong. And I was like, holy fucking shit. Now, just visually alone, you know, the song was amazing. Visuals were great. You know, su super good on the visuals here. I like how it started off grayscale. And then like we saw more colors as time went on. It's obviously again inspired by like Japanese pop and maybe the 80s and 90s. The visuals were good, the story was good, and it's funny they made it all connect because it's just part of the manga. Like, that shit is crazy, and they're all watching it, they're like shocked, like, wow, you like this of all things, Caesar? Because she is the, literally the strongest, burliest of all her group, granted it's almost all women, but even then, she's still stronger than the one guy in there too, which is lighter. So it's like, it's really funny that she's into this thing, and just in general, I really like the Sons of Calidon because... Almost every character in Zenless has a lot of um, literal character, right? They're, they're very... I don't want to say they're the most depth having characters there are, but they do have a lot of depth to them. They all have their little um, oddities, and the Sons of Caledon are no different. The story in... or maybe not the story, but the characters in Zenless are just all great. 
But that's Caesar's little trope that she actually likes the romances despite how she looks and how she acts. It's a little uh, out of left field, you would say. But the song itself was pretty good. The visuals were nice. Again, I'm just more shocked that this is what it was. It was just anime style. I really liked the music. The music was nice. Um, I'm not typically a hater of any type of music, but this one definitely tickled my fancy a little bit. Not something I'd add to the playlist, but overall, I was really shocked by this, and I really liked it. I mean, you know, if you like gotchas in general, you're kind of already into the anime genre, and most likely you might be into rom-coms as well. But, um, not that there was particularly a comedy element here, but still, you're probably into romances. But either way, this was fucking amazing. Sadly, the main thing that drives me forward is the meta, but this just adds to her lore, and I find it that it's really good. Overall, this has increased my appreciation for the characters just in general. And at this point, I'm kind of scared for Zenless because they have this really high bar to meet now, where if any character comes out in the future, I expect them to be on par with all the previous characters, and the bar is decently high. Not extremely high, but again, every character seems to have some kind of personality or trait that is very unique to them that I do remember with them. I don't want to say most of them because this video is already going to go over time and I don't want to bore people or spoil anything. But um, yeah, no, this just made me appreciate the lore more. The visuals were great. The song was great. I really, really, I want to say, because the more I think about it, the more it's honestly changing my mind now. We're ultimately going to have to see because ultimately the answer I give can always change on the day of the rolling video if my will is weak. But at this point, but partly I guess because of this, I'm honestly wavering. I don't think I'll do a 10 shot anymore, or at least just a 10 shot. I might, I don't want to say seriously, but I might go a little bit further for Caesar, for the pure fact that supports in Hoyo games are very extremely valued, and Caesar is just that good. Like, even though she's a, sh a shielder, she's also somewhat of a stunner and somewhat of a buffer as well. She's essentially a jack of all fucking trades where she works on almost every fucking team which is insanity but either way i mean she definitely will work on any team i need and who knows when we're gonna get another defender and honest to god because her kid is so stacked i honestly don't know how they can release another defender that's gonna be better than her unless they literally make them more niche into one of the many things caesar's already fucking good at caesar's decent at stunning people she's decent at buffing people and she's decent at defending you too it's like she's good at almost everything so unless you need massive shields which caesar's is usually enough for unless you need massive damage which obviously can definitely be provided by with more uh five star supports or sorry s rank supports so in that essence she could be beat there but in terms of like shielding and in terms of uh she's a debuffer too like it's just crazy the amount of stuff that Caesar could do. And stunning, obviously, the stun agents should beat her out. But unless you have something that insta-stuns... Because Chingy kind of works the same way. Where she, Yeah, she's a stunner, but she's also a buffer. Because she gives you a lot more extra damage. Not only from the days, but from the Wenjin as well. So, more and more, I really feel like I'm not going to do just a 10-shot on Caesar. I really hope I get her early. Because I don't want to go too far. Because, again, all the other things on the horizon. But... Honestly, I think this video and just overall her entire content, her drip marketing content, has really changed my mind. Ultimately, we gotta see, but I'm probably gonna do more than 10 shot at this point. They have convinced me, because Caesar's so goddamn good and supports her so universal, especially her. By the way, that's gonna be the video. I hope everyone enjoyed. Please tell me what you think in the comments below, and please watch me at twitch.tv slash channel. Eee!